Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to my desk, my messy desk. Paula here, and this is my channel, The Flavorful Home. I hope you're all well. I actually got my Saturday morning makes done pretty early in the week. I had started on Sunday because, and today is Friday, the 28th. I have been working my little butt off. It's um, my husband turned 60 on Monday, and so I am throwing him a party. And I have been cooking eggplant parm, sausage and peppers, chicken marsala. I made baguettes and rolls, and tomorrow I'll be making baked ziti. And so I wanted to have my crafts done so that I can get this video uploaded and um, scheduled to post tomorrow because I know tomorrow I won't have any time to uh, share. But you know when you get that little after the holidays funk, you've been crafting and crafting and making tags and cards and whatnot, and then after the holidays, you're kind of like kaput. Well, that's where I was. So I made myself come up here. And then once I started, I couldn't stop. And I made a bunch of really cute things. Um, and this is all going to go not just for Saturday morning makes, but for the snow, snowmen of January hashtag that Anna White is doing. Um... She has such a neat channel, and she's just such a talented artist. There's so many out there between Jill and Saturday Morning Makes and the inspiration that Jill is and um, Anna White. And uh, I haven't participated in Crafty Dares yet, but tell him thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, there's just so many out there that are so inspirational and challenge you to get in your craft room and create and I just love that and so uh, the first thing I did was this card uh, he's a die cut I got him from Aliexpress um, oh gosh I'm not sure that's my printer by the way um, a little scarf and it's several piece several pieces um, I think he's still available from Allie but you got to piece it together and I made him and put him on a card with a little snowflake background and I layered the card all scraps again I'm really trying to be diligent about using scraps this is uh, this piece here and then the lighter blue no, no, that's not it. That's a different uh, blue, this one. Um, this is all die cuts with a view. I think it's Arctic, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. This is Lily of the Valley. I just love their little tags. They're so pretty. Um, and stickles, of course. I know it's the Italian girl in me from Brooklyn, New York. Glitter. Sparkles bling. Some people say less is more. I say more is more. <laughs> so I did that. And I did a little Jill Norwood inside my card. I put a little pennant. I layered that too with the lighter. And then I stamped it, let it snow. I'm so glad I started following all these gals who have their wood block stamps because I was, I do still have more to sell, but I kept quite a few that I thought were just special, and I'll get to those in a second. They're in the coloring pile there, but I'm starting to use them. So I did this one, and I thought he came cute. Then I made, now this is an image from um, Silhouette, and I just love the eyes on these guys. It's just so cute. And again, a Lily of the Valley little 
tag there and this is a snowflake uh, a cut from silhouette I just thought it was so pretty and I layered the snowflake dark paper uh, sparkle paper and oh gosh I've had this in my stash for so long this glittery twine or whatever you want to call it and this is ribbon from really reasonable ribbon and I made a bow I love making bows and I just kind of pop dotted it I think it, and some stickles it came so cute I really was happy with this tag and then here's another tag this is a um, cut from silhouette it was a two-piece tag I pop dotted he's a shaker I stink at making shakers I gotta be honest with you first of all I told you once before I'm about as crooked as it comes I can't draw a straight line I don't have a steady hand and lining up several layers to get that bit of a lip so that you have a shaker man it's tough for me I really stink at it but this um, stamp set was really cute it, a stamp set die cut was really cute because it came with stamps and I used this is the die and I think this is still on Allie and I'll link everything in the description box if it is and these are the stamps you get a variety of expressions so I liked I had did this one too because I wasn't sure if I was going to do a shaker and then I decided to go ahead and do that but I cut um, a few snowflakes actually not that one that one I cut near Christmas but I cut this one with my silhouette and this shape I just thought they were so pretty and then I cut a little bit smaller one and I'll just use them with crafting and um, another bow I had made a bow and I put a little rhinestone bling and this is another thing I've had for eons in my stash this tin wired tinsel and I just curl it and then my bow from my ribbon from really reasonable ribbon and there's snowflakes on it another lily of the valley and I did two snowflakes one here and one here and some stickles but he's cute too and again I used scrap to just eliminate it but and I've had these sequins and whatnot oh my gosh I bought them uh, from Cartwrights probably three years ago and I've had them so I said all right I'll make a shaker even though I'm not that good at it so that's it not the snowman and then this one is so cute I just love this guy's face and this is also it's not a tag um, I think it's just a scalloped square from uh, silhouette and the image is from again I love the little doe-eyed I don't know images um, they do them on a lot on the penguins and the bears and just look at that little snowman's face he's just so cute sitting in his little tub uh, snowballs five cents I think that says cents boy if I don't have my reading glasses on I can't see again woolly mittens from Lily of the Valley I did the tinsel and um, I made another bow all my ribbon is really reasonable ribbon but this one I did a um, the crepe paper rosette from the streamer crepe paper streamer and I put layered all that the little pearl all for my stash and that one came cute okay so I've begun coloring actually let me just show you these couple of other I cut these images they're just so precious and see the 
eyes on that penguin is so cute and I did a Winnie too I didn't use her yet I don't want to say I'm not I just didn't use her yet but I cut a polka doodle and I also cut several of the Lily of the Valley um, little sayings that you could add to tags or cards hot cocoa sleigh rides very cute but I have started coloring. I have a stamp. As a matter of fact, let me grab it so I can show you. But I see, I think Anna White has that stamp too. Let me grab it. I have it here on my shelf. And this was the Let It Snow. Okay, I'm trying not to hit my camera here. Okay. This, I don't, I have some Copic markers. But that's not what I use. They're actually in my daughter's bedroom. I don't know why I have this one in here. But my daughter uses them. Um, this one happens to be on my desk. What I do have is the... I don't have... Oh, hoo hoo. Um, Christian's Crafty Christian... I think that's what it is. She recommended them, and I went, you know what? I'm not going to go all out spending buku bucks on Copics. I do have, I want to say 20 of them, but let, I said, let me get these and see where we go. But anyway, it's this stamp, and I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know who this is from. There is no I can't even see this. Let me switch my glasses and see if it helps. All I see is 1997 Stampin' Up! And that's what this image is. And I am so raw in coloring. I just used a couple of different reds and black and the orange and... Uh, this was, I think, antique gray. I need to learn all about shading and whatnot. And then there was this, and this is from 2000, limited edition. Um, Morty, Miss Morty, I can't see for my life. Um, oh my, maybe you guys could see, but I cannot. I see Redwood City, California. And I cannot make that out at all. But it was the snow globe Santa, uh, Santa snowman. And I did um, blues. Um, I did a cool gray for shading on him and different browns for the wood. And blue on the, I guess you want to call them snowflakes. But I did a little bit of stickle on there so and this will be a work in progress I've just been inspired to get better at coloring so I'll be doing that more this was the stamp I used for inside the card and I don't see anything on this but I'm gonna assume this is a stamping up and then I made bows I love making bows I love bows these are the ribbons I used. I've had these, I'm, I'm telling you, some of these ribbons are three, four years old. This was uh, for Valentine from Really Reasonable. This was the November for Christmas, Really Reasonable. And this was just a February selection. And I did little teeny bows. This is uh, a triple. Sometimes they eat each other. And so you, oh no, this is a double, not a triple. You have to kind of floof them and play with them. But I did the two little. I did a white and blue. I like this one. This one is pretty. This is a triple. I love the blue and the gold. That's just pretty. And then this is the Valentine one. He, this was a triple. The gingham. And this. 
really, I didn't glue this yet, so it's kind of a little discombobulated. But I really love making bows. One day I'll sit down and make my dog bows for her hair that she'll never wear because she's a scutch. And I think that's about it for, oh, on my, I did the glitterific along the edging just to give it a little panache. I like glitterific. What I don't like is you really got to dig to get that glitter out of there. It kind of separates, but it's pretty nonetheless. So that's my Saturday morning make share. I got my snowmen of January in. Uh, this was my first Saturday morning make for 2022. Uh, I'm not sure how, which episode this is. I'll find that all out. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope you consider joining. Um, there's no such thing as I can't do that. There has to be something that you're passionate about that you like to create. Um, paper folding, um, cookie decorating, painting, quilling. Um, I, I don't care if it's paint by numbers. I can't draw for my life, but doodling is an art. Jump in on this. Follow the hashtag Saturday Morning Make here on YouTube and on Instagram. Follow Jill Norwood. You will not regret it. She is a wonderful gift to the uh, creative world. Um, she has a heart of love and she inspires not only to create but to be a better person. And that's always a good thing. So once again, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves and create something wonderful, my friends. Till next time.